good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carolina. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. Good. How was your weekend? Mm, excellent. All right. What did you do? Uh, estaba haciendo las tareas de inglés. Oh, okay. Nice. Did you finish with the platform? Yes. Hoy All finalizé. Right. Okay, excellent. Very well, congratulations. Luis Alonso, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. Okay, great. How was the weekend? Uh, with my family. You spend it with your family. Visit, uh, my parents. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, that is very nice. Yeah. And you're done with the platform, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Uh, finish, teacher. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Manuel Aristides, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Um, a little sick. You're still a little yeah. sick? Oh, okay. Yeah, in quarantine. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. All right. So I hope you you'll be there. You'll be better soon. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Let me see, Jennifer Noemi. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Um, I'm okay. All right. How was the weekend? Um, good weekend. You had a good one? Nice. I'm glad to hear that. And the platform, Jennifer Noemi, are you done? Uh, uh, I complete the platform. Okay. All right. Very well. Thank you. Carla Iris, good evening. Carla Iris Martinez, good evening. Good evening. How are good you? Evening. I'm fine, thanks. Good. How was the weekend? Well, I went uh, uh, birthday, a uh, 16 a party, 16 party. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's great. Sounds fun. And how about the platform, Carla Iris? Have you been working on it? Yeah, but I don't finish. I am staying in unit, unit five. Okay. All right. So you're doing well. Keep going. Keep working. We still have two days. Remember that it has to be done by Wednesday. So okay. keep working. Okay. Yeah. Did you? All right. Thanks. Mayra Villorio, good evening. Hi, Mayra, how are you? Mayra Villorio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, great. How was the weekend? And the shore and a lot of work. Oh, okay. All right, that's good. Let me see Melvin Antonio. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm okay. Okay, good. And how was the weekend? And I have a fantastic week. Oh, nice. What did Thanks. you do? 
Uh, on Sunday, I'm going to the beach with my family. You went and, to the beach? Yes, and oh. Saturday, and I dinner with my brothers and my brother-in-law. Oh. Yes, I have a, a fantastic end week. Cool, that's very nice. Thanks. Julia Maritza, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Julia? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, very well. How was the weekend? <clears throat> this weekend is very busy, but happy. Oh. Mm, well, but I visit my family, my okay. mom, my sister, and my dad. All right, that is nice. And how about the platform, Julia Maritza? Have you been working on it? Yes, now I am working, but I continue work in the section four. Okay, you're still in, next, in lesson four, so you should be a, you should continue working because by now you should be at least on lesson five. So please keep working. Okay. Yes, All right. You. Thank you, Julia. Mm -hmm. And let me see Luz Marina. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, Glenn. How are you, Luz Marina? Hi, Glenn. Okay, how was the weekend? Good. And you go. Nice. And the platform, Luz, are you done? I am ensemble. Okay. Right, what section are you in? No le escuché porque está lloviendo. Okay, what section are you in? ¿En qué sección va, Luz Marina? Eh, solo me falta eh, de la sección. De la sección 4, solo me faltan unas horas. Okay, all right, so you should keep going. Okay, all right, that's good, Luz Marina. Just remember that this is our last week, so we only have two days to go. The platform should be completed by Wednesday, so please keep working. All right, so let me start by taking okay. attendance. Thank you. Um, all right, we are going to start with the attendance then. So let me see. Just give me a second. Let me get the list here. We can take attendance. And we're starting our last week of classes, last week of the curse. You're almost done with the Principiante Tres. And then you go to pre-intermediate one. So that's good news. Um, all right, let me start taking attendance. Ingrid Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, Jocelyn Asiria. Jocelyn Asiria. Okay. Joana Raquel. Thank you. Julia Maritza. Julia Maritza. Karen Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Stephanie Arqueta. Carla Iris Martinez. 
Thank you. Carla Vanessa González. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Katia Lisbeth Arriola. Katia Lisbeth Arriola. Crisia Magdalena. Crisia Magdalena Muñoz. Luis Alberto Enríquez. Luis Alberto Enríquez. Luis Alonso Mendoza. Oh, is that Luis Alberto? Okay, Luis Alberto and Luis Alonso. Present. Okay, thank you. Luis Carlos Guevara. Present. Thank you. Present, teacher. Luz María. Tengo mala señal. Ok. Luz Marina. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mayra Lorena. Present, teacher. Thanks. Manuel Aristides. Present, teacher. Thank you. Marco Antonio. Marco Antonio Ramírez. Present teacher. Oh, thanks. María del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you. María José Abrego. Present teacher. Thanks. María José Martínez. Present teacher. All right, good. Marlene Guadalupe Berríos. Present teacher. Good. Marta Lilian Guevara. Present. Thank you. Marvin Joseph. Present teacher. Thank you, Marvin. Mayra Roxana. Present teacher. Okay. Melissa Arely. Present. Thanks. Melvin Antonio. Melvin Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Present, present. Thank you. Milagro Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you, Milagro. Nancy Carolina. Nancy Carolina Mengiva. Oscar Giovanni Ortega. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. José Atilio Flores. Jose Atilio Flores. Okay. All right. So let's start with, with today's class. Um, oh, let me just check the chat. It seems I got some messages. Joana Raquel and Luis Enrique. Okay. Let me just check that on the list, please. Okay, got it. So let me share my presentation so we can start with the with the class. Welcome to our class number 13. And we're going to start talking a little bit about the weekend. So I want you to think about two things you did on the weekend. For example, you could say, I went to a party, I visited my grandmother, for instance. And I mean, think about the different things you did. I watched a movie, I ate in a restaurant, I went out with friends, I visited my family, I went to this place or the other. I mean, I cleaned the house. Think about the things you did and share with us. So let's see, Oscar Ortega, what did you do on the weekend? Oscar, your microphone is off. Check. Uh, resting at my, resting at home, at home with, with my family and doing hot, housework 
Okay, you rested at home with your family and you did the housework. Do, doing housework. You did the housework. Remember to use the verbs in the past. I rested at home with my family. I did the housework. I did the housework, okay. All right, very good. Oscar, choose a person and ask, please. Ask the question. En, sería en Jennifer Noemi. Okay. I did visit. I visited my mother. Okay, what else? Those two things. Did you watch TV? Did you sleep? Ah, uh, uh, to, uh, uh, Oh, I didn't do anything. I rested. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I rested. Just can say I rested. I rested. Okay, very well, Jennifer. Who's next? Okay. Deloria dijo. Yes, <laughs> tell us about your weekend. Good evening. Uh, the Saturday with my with the family, I went to church. All day Sunday, I work and I spend time with my children. It was a busy weekend at night with watching horror movies and a slit oh. almost a down. All right, interesting. Very well. You had a nice weekend. Okay, uh, choose the next person, Mayra, please. Uh, yeah. Julia Maritza. Mm -hmm. Julia Maritza. Sorry, okay. hello. Um, I was visit, visited my family. I visited my, my family? Visited, okay, visited my family. My eyes. I, I yeah. was fine with my sister. Uh, sorry, can you repeat that one? Um. I was o pasé tiempo con mis hermanas sería. Oh, I spent time. I spent time, time with my sister. Mm -hmm. I spent time with my sister. Uh, okay. Told so much and in pain, in pain. Okay. Thank you. Good. Uh, who's next? Next. Uh, Melissa, Melissa Huerta. All right, Melissa, tell us about your weekend. Hi, uh, in my weekend, I was with my family, we watched movies. Uh, Saturday at night, I eat pupusas. You ate pupusas, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, nice, like good Salvadorians, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Okay, Melissa, who's next? Okay. Crisia Magdalena. All right, Crisia. What did you do last weekend? I cannot hear you. It, it was interesting. Really? What happened? Um, 
On Saturday, I went to the mall with my boyfriend. We bought a guitar. And it was fantastic. And on yesterday, I went to the church with my family. And at night, I prepared a delicious dinner with my mom. Oh, for very well. All right. That's it. It sounds awesome. Nice. Choose the next person, Chrissia. Okay. Uh, let me see. Gonzalez Hernandez, Carla Vanessa. Carla Vanessa, okay. So tell us, Carla. Um, in my weekend, I did run in the Cuscatlan Park. Uh, you yesterday. Ran in the park? In the park. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, uh, eat pupusas in Cojutepeque City. Okay, you ate pupusas in the Cojutepeque City. Interesting. What else? Um, solamente. Only that. All right. Very well, Carla. Thanks. Who's the next person, please? Merlene Guadalupe, Berrios. Okay. Okay. I was at home resting and share, uh, sharing with my family. Only. Only that. You stayed home and spent time with your family. Great. Yes. Okay, Marlene, choose the next person, please. Um, veamos. Um, veamos, veamos. Maybe you can choose one of the men. They have not uh, participated. Nancy, Nancy Serpas. Oh, okay. Nancy. Oh, Nancy, have you participated? Yeah. You did, right? Okay, so let's choose another person. Let me see. Luis Enriquez. Okay. Okay. So tell us about okay. your weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to the beach with my family. Nice. And in the afternoon, I went to go hiking. Oh, okay. You went hiking, nice. That is pretty cool. Luis, choose another partner, please. Uh, Luis Alonso. Okay. Okay. Uh, on Saturday, I stay at home. Uh, I watch the TV with my with my wife and my daughter and sunday on sunday uh, i visited my family okay excellent luis alonso Hola. thanks for sharing okay we are going to stop over here because of the time and uh, let me tell you a couple of things here so if, whenever we are answering a wh question an information question in the past we would answer with the verb in the past. So that means that I have to change it. For example, I watch would become I watched. I watched a movie with my kids. Or I would say I went to the beach. And please do not get confused with the auxiliary did. You do not say I did go or I did eat. We do not say that. We say I ate, right? I ate pupusas on Sunday. Or you say my family and I run in the park. And also, another thing was that oh, mixing was with the verbs in the past. That is not possible. So you would say 
I was um, clean, for instance. That is not possible. You should only say I cleaned. I cleaned my house. Um, I spent time with my sisters. So you see how I changed all the verbs? I watched, I went, I ate, my family and I ran, I cleaned, I spent. So that's the way to answer. You always change the verb and we do not use any auxiliaries. Um, you could use the verb did only if the phrase requires it. For example, when you say, I did my homework, in that case, you use it not as an auxiliary, but as the main verb. I did my homework. Or I did the laundry. I did the laundry. That could be another one that takes did. So those are the only phrases or the only sentences that take did. For all the others, we use the verb in the past. Okay, so having said this, let's continue by presenting some different phrases that are useful when, oh, give me a sec. Uh, some different phrases that are useful when we are talking in the past. Okay, so we have some time expressions for the past. The first one is yesterday, right? Yesterday, for example, when I say I visited my grandma yesterday, ayer, then we could also use that word in different phrases such as yesterday morning to be more specific, yesterday afternoon or yesterday evening. Like I worked yesterday morning, uh, yesterday afternoon, I stayed home. Yesterday evening, I went out with my friends. And then if you wonder how to say anteayer in English, well, there's no way to say it in only one word. You say this whole phrase, the day before yesterday. So you would say, for example, I visited, or well, let me change the verb. I played soccer the day before yesterday. Or I went shopping the day before yesterday. Then we have last night. We had an English class last night. Or we could also use last with different days of the week, like last Monday, last Thursday, last Saturday. And we could say, for example, I traveled to San Salvador last Monday. Last Saturday, I worked very hard. Last Sunday, I went to the lake. Then we have expressions such as last week, last month, or last year. Um, we finished the English course last week, for instance, or last month, I earned a lot of money. Last year, I bought a new a new car. Then we also have a one, two, or three, or just whatever number you want. Days ago, two days ago, I arrived to New York. I started working in this company three days ago, for instance. And then we have some specific date, such as in 2015, I had an accident, for example. And uh, that would be pretty much it. Do we have questions about the expressions? Any questions? No, let's repeat them. Everybody repeat, please. Yesterday. 
yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Yesterday afternoon. Yesterday, yesterday afternoon. afternoon. Yesterday evening. Yesterday, yesterday evening. 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 The day before yesterday. The day before, the day before yesterday. yesterday. Last night. Last, Last night. night. Last Monday. Last, Last Monday. Monday. Last Thursday. Last Thursday. Last Saturday. Last Saturday. Last week. Last week. Last month. Last month. Last year. Last year. One day ago. One day ago. Two days ago. Three days ago. Three days ago. In 2015. In 2015. Okay, very well, everybody. Now let's continue by moving to our next topic. Let's talk a little bit about summer activities. We're going to review them pretty quickly. And we have go hiking. Go hiking is when you take a walk on the forest, for example, or well, in nature. So that would be going hiking. Then we have go swimming. That is another activity. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class, take pictures, and that's pretty much it. Let's repeat them. Go hiking. Go hiking. Go hiking. Go swimming. Go swimming. Go swimming. Have fun. Have, Have fun. fun. Have fun. Have a picnic. Have, have, a picnic. Picnic. have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet, Meet new, people. new people. people. Meet old friends. Meet, Meet old friends. Friends. Play tennis. Play tennis. Play tennis. Play volleyball. Play volleyball. Play volleyball. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a movie. See a movie. movie. See a play. See See play. Play. Take a class. Take, Take a class. class. Take pictures. Take, Take pictures. pictures. Take pictures. Take pictures. pictures. Okay. Do you understand the meaning of all of them? Or do you have any questions? I no think questions? it's a oh. No okay. questions? Okay, no. let's continue. Okay, our next lesson objective is by the end of this class, you will be able to form positive and negative statements with the path of B. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So let's practice the conversation. We got a conversation between Chuck and Melissa. So let me read it once and then I'll ask for some volunteers to read. Where were you born? Okay. So let me read it. Good. Let me read it once and then I'll give you the chance to practice, okay? Okay. All right. So it goes like, Where were you born, Melissa? 
I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, so now let me ask for some volunteers to read. I think it was... Who wants to Alice. read? Manuel Aristides, I think it was you. Is that right? I'm Melissa. Okay, right. And Melissa, okay. okay. All right, so Manuel, you're Chuck. Melissa, you're Melissa. <laughs> okay. Where, where were, no, where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't, weren't born in the USA? No, I came here in 1990. In 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took, took, took. I know, I know, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay. Bye, Chip. Mm, very well, Manuel, and uh, it was Mayra, right? Very well. Okay, who's next? Who else wants to read? Me, teacher. Luis Alonso and me. Yes. Jennifer Noemi. Okay. So Luis Alonso, you start. Uh, mm, go ahead. I have a problem with the internet teacher. Oh, okay. All right, don't worry. Maybe you can solve it and read later. Do I have any other, other volunteer? Luis Enriquez, okay, go ahead. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in the 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is very good. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, very good. And thank you for reading. Let me just answer this message. All right, um, so let me ask you for repeating some words. Repeat, please. Born. 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 Where were you born? Born. Where were you born? Where were you born? Korea. Korea. The U.S. The U.S. The US. Came. Came. Here. 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 
First, 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 first. And I think that's pretty much it. And do you understand the meaning of this question? Where were you born? Yes. Donde naciste, Melissa? Yes. Okay. Yes. Where were you born? Donde naciste? And if we want to ask about the date, we would say when. Yes. When were you yes. born? Okay, good. Let's continue by talking a little bit sure. about the past. Tell me. What is right, right away mean? Right away, immediately. Like, did you go to college immediately? Like, right away, like just the, at that moment. Okay, okay. Get it? Okay. Good to show you. All right. Okay, so let me tell you about the past of B. We got two different forms for the past of B. Remember that B is a really special verb in English, so it's always special, right? Always different. We have the first form, which is was, and the second form is where. And what's the difference? Well, we use the forms with the different subjects. We have a specific form for each of the subjects. So we use was for I, we say I was. But for you, we use where. How about for he? Which one do we use? Was or where? Was. Was, right? We say he was. And she? What is the was. form for she? Was. Was. It. For it, we also use was. And how about we? What's the form where. for we? Where. 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 We where and they? they. Where. Where. They were. So Are. that's how we use, right? Are. That's how we use was or where. We use was for I, he, she, and it which we normally say that are the singular subjects. We use was for the singular subjects and for the plural ones, we would use where. You, we, and they take where. So repeat everybody, I was. I, I was. was, I was. He was. He was. He was. He was. She was. She was. She was. She was. Uh, it was. It it was. Was. You were. You were. We were. We were. We were. They were. They were. Okay. And about how to make sentences using the verb be? Well, it's pretty easy. The structure that we follow is this one. We have the subject first. Then we use was or were. And then the complement, and we get sentences such as, I was very happy. Can somebody help me to read the second one, please? She was a doctor. She was a doctor. Thank you. Read the third one. They were worrying for years. They were by years. Very. Okay. And by last year. one. You were, you were really, really angry. angry. Really angry. Okay, you were really angry. Angry. Good. So that is how we make what a I mean sentences using was or were. Julia Maritza, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. What is the Spanish? The she was a doctor. And she was a doctor, 
ella era doctora o ella fue doctora, depending mm, okay. on the context. Okay, thank you, uh -huh. You're welcome. Okay, any other doubts about the examples? No? Okay, yeah. tell me. Uh, in this case, uh, the past of B is, uh, for example, uh, I am a student, the past I was a student. Exactly. No. Yes, that's how it goes. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, so the present okay. forms for B are am, um, is, and are. And then we get the past, was, and where. So we would say that we repla replace am and is for was, and are is replaced for where. So that's okay. how it goes, more or less. Okay, so let's try okay. to do a little practice. And <clears throat> I need you to unscramble these questions, I mean, these sentences, sorry. So we got, let me see, I think they are eight. Oh no, 10. Okay, so I'll give Should you some minutes so you try to unscramble them and then we check together. Or I was at the school. I was, okay. I was at the school. I was at school, is the first one. How about number two? You were. You were. I was at the school. You were thirsty and hungry. Okay, it could be thirsty and hungry. All right, hungry and thirsty or thirsty and hungry. Do you understand the meaning of thirsty, by the way? and thirsty. So hungry is when you need to eat, right? Thirsty yeah. when you need to drink something. You're thirsty, okay. you need some water. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number three. You, you, were, you were, were very sad. Very sad. Very sad. Very sad. You were very sad. You were very sad. Okay, Martin, Martin was number four. The hospital. Martin, Martin, Martin was, was at the hospital. Hospital. Martin hospital. was at the hospital. Yeah. Hospital. We yeah. were pretty number tired. five. We were pretty tired. We were, we we were, were tired. pretty tired. We were, we were tired. tired. Number yeah. six. My family, my family were in Paris. My family were in Paris. And I were in Paris. In Paris. In Paris. And I were in Paris. Right, good. My family and I were in Paris. Number seven. Uh, the kids were at the cinema. Were at the cinema. At the cinema. At the cinema. At the cinema. Very well. Number eight. It was, it was a rainy day. It was a rainy day. It was a rainy day. Rainy. Rain day. Rain. ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Rainy? Rainy. 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 My grandfather was a pilot. My grandfather was a pilot. A pilot. My grandfather was a pilot. Grandfather was a pilot. Mm -hmm. right. My grandfather was a pilot. Okay, very well. Let's repeat them to practice pronunciation. I was at school. I, I was, was at school. 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 school
You were hungry and thirsty. You were, you were hungry, hungry and thirsty. And thirsty. Yeah. You were very sad. You were very sad. Very sad. Martin was at the hospital. Martin, Martin was at the hospital. We were, we were pretty tired. We, we were, were pretty, pretty tired. tired. My family and I were in Paris. My family and I were in Paris. were in Paris. The kids were at the cinema. The kids were, were at, the at the cinema. It was a rainy day. It, it was a rainy, rainy day. 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 Picasso was a Spanish painter. Picasso, Picasso was a was Spanish painter. painter. My grandfather was a pilot. My, My grandfather, grandfather was, was a pilot. 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 Okay, very good. Now let's continue by uh, by practicing a little bit about the pronunciation of the verbs in the past. Let me stop sharing this and get the other exercise. Well, before we get to that, I need you all to to turn on your cameras so we get the screenshots, please. Everybody turn on your cameras, we'll get the screenshots. Okay, I still see some cameras off, so please, if you could, could turn them on, that would be great. Give me a second, please. Okay, I'm taking the screenshot now. Okay, I just need the second one. Just taking it right now. All right, I got it. So for this next activity, I'll require you to get a pen or pencil and a piece of paper, please. Get a pen or pencil and a piece of paper so you can take notes because we are going to do some practice. Enjoy. Enjoy. Climb. Climb. Finish. Fight. Mm -hmm. Started. Mm -hmm. Just okay. give me a second, please. Just need. Okay, so meanwhile, let me tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to pronounce some verbs for you. And what you have to do is to try to classify them in the corresponding sounds. So remember that um, last class we studied this and we mentioned that we have three different sounds, right? We got the d sound as in enjoyed, Planned. Enjoyed. Then we have, yeah, if you'd like to repeat them, go ahead. Enjoyed. 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 Planned. 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 Then we have Planned. some verbs that end in t, such as finished. 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 
fixed. 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 And then we have the pronunciation id, such as started, started. 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 painted. Okay, then here we go. I need you to copy the sounds, please, and get yeah. ready for the verbs. I'm going to say some verbs and you must place them in the corresponding sound. For example, the first verb is listened. 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 Where does it go? In the first sound, second, or third one? Second. Listened. Listened. First. First one, first. right? Listened. First, yes. Yes, that's where it goes. Listened. Okay. Listen. Next one is booked. 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 T. 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 Song. Okay. All right. Uh, so you grade them down and then we check together. Um. Okay. Let me continue. The next verb is planted. 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 Okay, grade them down and then we check. Next one, remembered. 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 Then we have the verb moved. Moved. Walked. Walked. Looked, 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 trained, trained, played, played, rained, rained, looked, helped. Helped, helped. Next one is developed, developed. And then we have wanted, started, wanted, started. Did you get some at least or all of them? Did you get them? Yes, no? Maybe. Okay, let's try to check. So then we had remembered. Then we have moved, trained, played, and rained. Those are the ones with the d sound at the end. Then we have booked, walked, looked, helped, and developed. And on the next column, we have planted, wanted, and started. So those are the ones we have. Check, please. Okay, and so I make it smaller so I can take attendance. Maybe you can check or copy. Gee, gee. Meanwhile, and I'll be taking attendance right now. Um, Ingrid Carolina Sanchez. I don't listen. Okay. Um, let me turn up all microphones. Okay, now everybody is muted. And if you, I mean, whenever you need to answer, please turn on your microphone. Ingrid Carolina Sanchez. Ingrid Carolina Sanchez. 
Okay. I'm here. Thank you, Ingrid. Jennifer Noemi Carballo. Thank you. Jocelyn Asiria. Jocelyn Asiria. Okay. Joana Raquel Cortez. Joana Raquel Cortez. Julia Maritza Bautista. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Elizabeth Calderón. Karen Elizabeth Calderón. Okay. Karen Stephanie Argueta. Carla Iris Martínez. Carla Iris Martínez. Carla Vanessa González. Here. Ok, thank you. Katia Lisbeth Arriola. Present. Thank you. Crisia Magdalena. Present, teacher. Thank you, Crisia. Luis Alberto Enríquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Alonso Mendoza. Thanks. Luis Carlos Guevara. Present. All right. Luz Marina. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mayra Lorena. Mayra Lorena Portillo. Present, teacher. Thanks. Manuel Present. Aristides. Okay. Present, teacher. Thank you, Manuel. Marco Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. María del Carmen. Present teacher. Good. María José Abrego. I'm here. Thank you. María José Martínez. Present teacher. Very well. Marlene Guadalupe. Marlene Guadalupe. Ok, Marta Lilian. Present teacher. Thank you. Marvin Joseph. Present teacher. Ok, Mayra Roxana Vilorio. Present teacher. Thank you, Mayra. Melissa Arely. Present. Thanks. Melvin Antonio. Melvin Antonio. Ok, Milagro present Elizabeth. Present, present, present. Thanks, Melvin. Milagro present. Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Nancy Carolina. Nancy Carolina Mengíbar. Ok, Oscar Giovanni Ortega. Oscar Giovanni Ortega. And José Atilio Flores. José Atilio Flores. Ok. All right. So that will be all for today's session. Thanks everyone for participating. If you have not completed the platform, please keep working. Remember, we only have today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. So you should keep going. Keep working and have a good night, everyone. Take care. See you tomorrow. Good night, see tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Thank you for the class, teacher. Good night. Bye. Welcome. Bye. Take care. See you, see you tomorrow. Bye.